Hola hi achievers, welcome to Unwind the Grind YouTube channel, the place to transition from your dead-end job to a purposeful, thriving career. If this is your first time today, I'm Samya, founder of Unwind the Grind, a career development platform for millennials. I blend my 14 years of leadership, career coaching, and marketing expertise to help you find your why, find direction and meaning in your career, and learn how to market and sell brand you. Time management. So many of you have asked me simple hacks on this. Today I'm here to spill out my timeless, tried and tested formula that has worked for me for at least 15 years now. I call it the three P's approach. The three P stands for plan, prioritize, and push back. I will take you through them one by one. The first step is to plan. I cannot stress on this enough. Plan, plan, plan. Rigorous, detailed, specific planning. Planning with a clear vision, with the end in mind. Coming up with the right strategies that deliver on that vision. Breaking down overwhelming projects into smaller, doable tasks. You gotta be strategic and you gotta be executional. You need to build in realistic timelines and buffers. Where planning falls short is mostly on missing the necessary steps involved in doing a project or carving out unrealistic timelines to do the work. If you don't have a plan, you'll never be able to manage your time because you'll be running around haywire like a headless chicken, not knowing what to do when. Next up, prioritize. Focus. Where focus goes, energy flows. It's so true. You need to eat the frogs first. What does that mean? Work on the most important strategic projects first, even if they seem cumbersome, tough, or time consuming. Bank on effectiveness more than efficiency and minimize distractions. For instance, I allocate two to three hours in the morning to work on my most strategic important projects um, and I minimize distractions by putting my phone on airplane mode, it works actually, uh, and uh, getting the work done. What's the outcome? I'm strategic, productive, and creative. Finally, push back. That's a tough one. Pushing back does not come naturally to most people. What comes naturally is saying yes, overcommitting, not setting the right expectation, not defining clear boundaries, and before you know it, boom, crashing at a speed of 100 miles an hour because you don't seem to deliver on your commitments. Pushing back can only happen when proper planning and prioritization is in place. You can only say no, delay a task, delegate it, automate it, or scrap it when you know where it stacks on your already full plate of responsibilities, both in terms of prioritization as well as how much time it will take to do it. Takes us back to planning, doesn't it? So do yourself a favor, carve out some time this week to go over your existing projects, plan them out properly, assess prioritization, and then see which ones need to be pushed back, delayed, automated, or completely scrapped so you can free up your time for more valuable, highly paid work. Let me know how you get on with it.